Imagine a tunnel so vast and groundbreaking that it stretches over 57 kilometers, making it the longest railway tunnel globally. But it's not just about length, it's also the deepest, burrowing a staggering 2,300 meters, 7,500 feet below the surface. Have you ever wondered what it takes to construct such a monumental passageway, navigating through mountain ranges and connecting two picturesque valleys? This tunnel is none other than the Gotthard Tunnel. Can you fathom the idea that, without proper ventilation, the temperature inside the tunnel reaches a scorching 46 degrees Celsius, 114.8 degrees Fahrenheit? And did you know that it's not just a tunnel, but a gateway through the Alps, shaping the landscape of European transportation? Why did Swiss voters shift their transportation policies in 1992? What challenges did the construction face under extreme conditions like high temperatures and unpredictable rock quality? Too many questions, right? Don't worry, we will answer it all in this video. Ready to explore the depths of the Gotthard Base Tunnel? Subscribe to our channel for an express ticket to Tunnel-tastic content, the Gotthard Base Tunnel an astounding 57.09 kilometers, 35.46 miles. Passage beneath the Swiss Alps, breaking records as the world's longest railway tunnel. It's not just about the length. This marvel plunges 2,450 meters, 8,040 feet below the surface, rivaling Earth's deepest mines. What makes it extraordinary is its flat route, the first of its kind through the Alps, linking the valleys of Erna Reustal and Valle Leventina. Ingeniously crafted, it weaves beneath colossal mountain ranges like the Glarus Alps and St. Gotthard Massif, delving over 2,000 meters, 6,562 feet, below peaks like Kruzlistok and Pizzi Vatgira. Traveling from German-speaking Uri to Italian-speaking Ticino, you'll feel the alpine climate shift, beautifully described by architect Mario Botta. The light changes at the Gotthard. That of the Mediterranean Sea is not the same as that of the continent, that of the central lands, that of Europe far away from the sea. Experience temperature nuances with averages 3 degrees Celsius, 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Higher on the south side and occasional differences exceeding 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The journey starts in Erstfeld, high at 460 meters, 1,510 feet. The tunnel dives beneath Belmerton and Klee Wingellen, skimming under the Scherstellenbach Valley. Following the Etzli Valley and passing beneath the White Nalpstock, it crosses the highest point in the Glarus Alps at Kruzlistock around 2,700 meters, 8,900 feet. Continuing, the tunnel traces the stream valley under Cedron and the anterior Rhine. Heading down, it moves towards the Rhein de Nalps Valley, slipping east of Leiden Alps. At its deepest point, it reaches below the Ganaretsch Range with a rock layer 2450 meters, 8,040 feet above. Moving onward, it passes the Rain de Medel Valley and west of Lai de Sontga Maria. Crossing the watershed between the anterior Rhine and the Ticino, just north of Pizzo del Uomo at 2,500 meters, 8,284 feet, it marks the main chain of the Alps, dividing the Rhine and the Po rivers. For a stretch, it runs beneath two tributaries of the Breno in Valle Santa Maria before crossing the last range between Paso Predelp and Fido. Following the eastern slopes of Valle Leventina, the Ticino Valley, for about 18 kilometers, 11.18 miles, it leads to the southern portal at Bodio, only three kilometers from Biasca, where the Breno meets the Ticino. Connecting cities efficiently, the nearest railway stations are Altdorf and Biasca. Arthgoldau to Bellinzona takes just an hour, 
and Altdorf plans to join the route by 2021. Talks are ongoing about including Biasca, making the trip between Altdorf and Biasca under 25 minutes. If you're as excited about tunnels as we are, hit subscribe and let's embark on an epic journey through the Gotthard Base Tunnel together. For centuries, the Gotthard Pass, standing at 2105 meters, 6,909 feet, served as a vital trade route linking Northern and Southern Europe. This strategic control point played a pivotal role in the formation of the Swiss Confederacy. Nestled between Lake Lucerne and Lake Maggiore, it represents the shortest connection between the navigable Rhine and the Po. In the 13th century, traversing the pass was an arduous journey taking days, especially challenging in winter. In 1830, the first St. Gotthard Pass Road emerged, replacing centuries-old bridal paths. By 1842, the Gotthard Post, a stagecoach drawn by five horses, cut the travel time from Como to Fluelen to about 23 hours, persisting until 1921. The game-changing Gotthard Railway Tunnel, inaugurated in 1882, dramatically reduced travel time between Altdorf and Biasca to mere hours, transforming the adventure into a more accessible experience. Electrification in 1922 further improved efficiency, eliminating the need to refill steam locomotive water boilers. Car transport through the railway tunnel began in 1924, reshaping travel dynamics. The original road over the pass, fraught with hairpin turns and serpentine curves, posed challenges for early automobiles. From 1953, continual improvements were made to the pass road, culminating in a 1977 expressway that bypassed the challenging Tremola section. However, winter snowfall continued to pose difficulties, limiting car crossings to the Gotthard to the convenience of the train. The journey through this historic pass has evolved from a lengthy and challenging expedition to a streamlined and accessible experience over the years. The travel landscape through the Swiss Alps underwent a significant transformation in the 1980s. The opening of the Gotthard Road Tunnel and the completion of the A2 motorway streamlined journeys, creating an uninterrupted highway from Basel in the north to Chiasso in the south. This not only brought down the competitiveness of the railway line, but also led to a substantial increase in traffic, with the existing tunnel reaching capacity by 2013. To address this, a second tunnel construction began in 2021, scheduled for completion in 2027. This development aligns with a visionary idea from as early as 1947, proposed by engineer Edward Gruner, imagining a two-story base tunnel for both rail and road from Amsteg to Biasca. The Gotthard Base Tunnel, GBT, cutting through the Gotthard Massif 610 meters 2,000 feet below the older tunnel represents the realization of this concept. Unlike the historic track, where only specific trains could navigate the narrow mountain valleys, the GBT accommodates standard freight trains of up to 3,600 T, 8.0000000 pounds, overcoming a natural transportation barrier. The shift in transportation policy in 1992, supported by Swiss voters, aimed to reduce truck traffic and promote train transport, aligning with the Alpine Protection Act of 1994. The Gotthard Base Tunnel, GBT, in Switzerland, is a super long and super deep railway tunnel that opened in 2016. It's 57 kilometers, 35 miles long, going through mountains and reaching 2,300 meters, 7,500 feet deep. The Swiss built it to shift trucks and freight from busy roads to trains, helping the environment. Trains in the tunnel can go up to 230 kilometers per H, 142.92 mile. When it opened, travel times for trains got much shorter, making life easier for people in the region. 
The GBT is a big deal, being the world's longest railway tunnel, and the Swiss voted strongly in favor of it in a 1992 referendum, showing they care about sustainable transportation. Would you like to visit this engineering excellence? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you liked this video, then do give it a big thumbs up and do share it with your friends and family. For more such amazing videos, do subscribe to our channel.